Welcome to a Lean Stacks instructional video. In this video, we'll learn how to embed Google Analytics into a Backbone or Marionette single page application. Let's get started. This training video assumes that you have a Google Analytics account and that you've created a new property within your Analytics account. The JavaScript depicted here is available from your Google Analytics account. Let's walk through the script briefly. The script begins with a small JavaScript closure that defines the GA function in the browser window. Next, the GA function is invoked with the create command, initializing the Google Analytics tracker object. Finally, the GA function is invoked with the send command, the send command transmits an AJAX request to Google Analytics to record a page view event. Let's embed the Google Analytics script into the index.html page. Copy the complete script and paste it at the bottom of the page body. Then delete the final line of script. We don't want to include the send command within this script. Remember the send command is what transmits analytics information about a page view event to Google Analytics. In a multi-page web application, the full script would be embedded into each web page. As the application transitioned from page to page, the script would send page view events to Google Analytics as the page is loaded into the browser. However, in a single page application, there's just one HTML page we don't want to record a page view event when the page loads. Instead, we want to do this when the application route changes. Let's take a moment to introduce you to this sample application that we're using in this video. This is a sample marionette application written in CoffeeScript. This source file, application.coffee, is the starting point for the marionette application. The Marionette application is created and attached to the browser's window object. The top-level Marionette application regions are then declared. When the start event is triggered, we initialize the backbone history object. Finally, the source file contains the jQuery listener for the document ready event. The application logger is initialized and the Marionette application is started. Let's scroll back to the top of the application.coffee source file. After the creation of the Marionette application object, let's define a new function named trackPage. The trackPage function will send the page view event to Google Analytics. First, the function checks to see if the Google Analytics script exists. By checking that the script exists, you may choose to include the script only in your production deployment. Next, Create the name of the page, which we will transmit to Google Analytics. Concatenate the backbone history root and the backbone history fragment variables to form the page name. Finally, use the Google Analytics send command to transmit the page view event back to Google Analytics. Now let's listen for route events. In the application.coffee source file, Listen for route events published by the Backbone History object. Your application may have many router classes. Each time they perform a route event, they invoke the route function on Backbone History. In turn, the Backbone History object publishes a route event. Within the body of the route event listener callback function, we simply call the track page function. Therefore, every time a router within your application is used, a page view event is transmitted to Google Analytics. Some applications use the navigate function on the backbone history object instead of or in addition to the route function. By default, the navigate function does not call the route function and therefore the route event is not published. However, if the navigate function is passed an option named trigger, whose value is true, then the route function is called. 
In this sample application, the marionette application object has a defined function named navigate, which simply calls the backbone history navigate function. To ensure that we track page view events when the navigate function is called, we add a call to the track page function. We will only call the track page function if the trigger option is undefined or false. This is to prevent duplicate calls to track page, inflating our Google Analytics statistics. Let's run the application and see what happens. I'm going to open a terminal window and I'll use Gulp to start a local web server. Next, I'll open a browser and open the browser's developer tools. I'll use the console tab. I'm going to open my application running on localhost. As you can see from the console log, the Marionette application started and immediately went to a default route named home. The navigate function was used, which in turn called the track page function, sending a page view event of forward slash home to Google Analytics. The forward slash by itself was obtained from the backbone history route. Home was the backbone history fragment. They were concatenated together. Now I'll switch to the network tab and we see that the collect AJAX service was called. In the query string parameters notice that forward slash home was sent to Google Analytics as we expected. I hope you've enjoyed this Lean Stacks training video. For more videos subscribe to the Lean Stacks YouTube channel. For more information, go to leanstacks.com.